The first step is to create the script file. I'm going to assume you've already downloaded and installed AutoHotKey. First, open a blank text file using Notepad, or better yet, Notepad++. Then copy and paste the script into the file. It should look something like this. Next, you need to use Save As to save the file as a different file type. Type in your file name, and then end it with .ahk, then click Save. This will make the file open as a script rather than a .txt document. Now open the script. Now, you should probably run the script now, to see if it works, and to get a feel for what it's trying to do. It probably won't work at first. Since I designed it to run in full screen on my laptop, as an aside, this is because running idle champions in windowed mode, even at the lowest possible resolution lead to the bottom being cut off. Most likely, it'll miss the adventure start menu, and just start clicking up and down somewhere on the screen. You'll have to hit the tilde key to exit the script. Do so, then reopen it. Now, right click on the auto hotkey icon in your system tray, and open the window spy tool. Window spy will look like this. There's a lot of information, but you'll only need two things. The two numbers above the blue line are the X and Y coordinates of your cursor. The hex code underlined in red is the color of the pixel under your cursor. It is currently 0xfffffff, which represents white. You will be using this to determine the locations the script needs on your own system. Next up I'll be showing screenshots of various parts of the game, with labels showing where each coordinate you'll need to find is. I'll try to describe them in more depth and explain the reasoning for their use. You may wish to pause the video on each segment so you can follow along. If you have a little experience with coding, the script has a test function, Control M. You can run specific subroutines or functions to test smaller portions of the code without having to wait through earlier parts of the script. Simply comment out, using semicolon anything that you aren't testing. This is where the script will start. Camp X is the horizontal coordinate for the middle of both campaign buttons. Grand Select Y and Tomb Select Y are the vertical coordinates for the two buttons. Camp X and Camp Y are the horizontal and vertical coordinates of the house you need to click to bring up the campaign menu. To make sure you're clicking the right place, zoom all the way out, click on another campaign. Then click back to the Grand Tour campaign. This will consistently place the house in the same place. Next up is the Adventure menu. This will require a little trail and error. List X and List Y are the location of the Mad Wizard free play button, but you have to scroll down to make it visible. To do this, the script moves the cursor to where the button will be, then scrolls. You will need to edit the script with an X and Y value within the list. Then run the script. Kill the script after it scrolls down. Move the mouse over the free play button, then replace the temporary list text and list y values with those. Camp start x and camp start y are comparatively simple. Just take the coordinates for the middle of the start objective button. Once you get all of that working, the script should be able to start the adventure from the main map. Now we get into running the adventure itself. Sweep right is the horizontal coordinate of the vertical line on the right of the screen. Sweep vert is the vertical coordinate of the top of the line, while sweep low is the vertical coordinate of the bottom. More trial and error is needed here. The goal is for the script to be able to pick up all of the unkill item drops. Area 2 is a great place to test this. Don't worry too much if it doesn't work perfectly yet. The script will still work. It'll just be slower. You can fine tune it later. Trans X and Trans Y are where the game will check to see if a level transition is occurring. Pick a point on the far left of the screen, just above the champion roster. Ensure that the point is below the lowermost champion when you have a full formation, to make sure that a champion doesn't move through the point. This could potentially be detected by the script as a level transition which we would like to avoid, zooming in for more detail, now. Form X is the horizontal coordinate of the formation select buttons, 
while form Y1 through 3 are the vertical coordinates of the corresponding formation buttons. Roster X and Roster Y are the horizontal and vertical coordinates of the middle of the click damage level up button. Roster interval is the horizontal distance between the middle of each button. To find this, take the X coordinate of the middle of Bruner's portate and subtract Roster X. Next up are a couple quick ones for the different auto clickers. Sweep port is the horizontal coordinate of the white line here. This has the same goal as sweep right earlier except its goal is to sweep up drops in levels with portals. Level 16 is the first level that has a portal with drops for testing. Sweep left is the horizontal coordinate of the boss loot bag, while bag click is the vertical coordinate. Simple enough, now back to the first slide for a bit. Now we're on to the reset function at the end of each run. Complete X and complete Y are the coordinates for the reset button. Confirm X and confirm Y are the coordinates for the complete button. Continue X and continue Y are the coordinates for the continue button. Now things get a little more complicated. The last few variables involve more color testing to check for errors while the game is running. You'll need to use both parts of Windows Spy for this. White arrow X and white arrow Y check to see if the auto progress arrow is white, which indicates that auto progress is off. Thus these coordinates must be much more specific than earlier ones. Turn auto progress off, then mouse over the arrows. Slowly move the mouse until the color under the mouse cursor reads 0xffffff, as it does on screen now. Ensure you record the exact coordinates shown. The last set of variables are for when Bruner accidentally gets leveled up to his selector. White X X and White X Y are simple enough, just the coordinates of the X button to close the selector. Gray X, Gray Y, and Gray C are used to detect if the selector window has been opened. Mouse over the gray part of the box. Avoiding both the red glow in the upper half of the window and the yellow glow around the icons. Here you need to record both the precise X and Y coordinates under your cursor, but also the hex code for the color at that point. The color varies slightly, so you need to record the color to match the point you chose. Gray X and Y are the coordinates, and gray C is the color code. That should be everything. Good luck and good hunting.